Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Elberon here again, and just a quick video about Kendo's combos, for those who don't like uh, longer style videos, so I'll just quickly show a bread and butter combo. So it'll look for something like this. There we go, 10,300 damage, that's really good damage um, for one dash candle, definitely above average, and it's super flashy. You can also add a plus ultra one at the end there. Uh, I usually don't do a plus ultra two because the, the damage is about the same, whether you use a plus ultra one or a plus ultra two, but it is very respectable damage just for adding a plus ultra at the very end of your combo, and it's super easy to do, obviously. Probably could have let that um, talk work one go a little bit longer there, but it's gonna be similar damage. There we go. 14,500 damage, really good, just for a single plus ultra combo, um, that's pretty simple to do. So yeah, those are uh, Kendo's basic combo paths, hope you enjoyed. Obviously you can add extra extensions, like, you know, if you add a red attack at the start, or if, even if you just start the combo in the air, you can do similar things. You just have to make sure you do the same, same routes. And, you know, you can do something to make it decent damage from the air. And uh, in case you want to go for resets or something that doesn't make the opponent fly away, like the Tilt White one, you can actually go for a, a good recovery reset with her and, and your combo in her um, Quirk 2. Because when the opponent recovers, sometimes they cover very close to you and you have a ton of hit advantage, so you can attack way before the opponent can, which means you can jump in the air and attack way before they even have a chance of pressing any button. And obviously you can go into some kind of combo after that. You can even go in... Well, you would be able to go in for the meatless combo. So if I've ended my combo in something like this, I catch them, oops. If they do recover backwards, that is usually a good way of getting out of it, because they end up far away. Um, but a lot of the time people don't recover too strategically, and you can get the combo. And then you can get some combo like this, which is pretty good. You know, if you get an extra 6,000 damage at the end of your combo, just because you didn't end it regularly, and you went for the reset, that's pretty good. Anyways, that is a quick uh, video showing Kendo's combos. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!